Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Cerrone is six years his senior. He is the six inch taller party. He will have a three inch reach advantage. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 36 wins, 15 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Lands a big right hand early. All right, let's go. Let's get Look in there again. Those are big strikes. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Big body kick land. Throwing that jab, no good. Do not back up. Big head kick. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh! When he gets to the clinch, usually a takedown follow. And the Cerrone takedown defense is there. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. The kick is there to the body. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Donald Cerrone. Beautiful right hand there from Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Some friction with his former team, Jackson Wink MMA, but the results have been there since that separation, DC. No arguing with the recent form of the future Hall of Famer, Donald Cerrone. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the fight. Shot is blocked there by Lee. Come on, hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's recover. Oh, big left. All right, 60 seconds now to go in round one. 
What a tricky head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Let's get going now. 20 seconds left. What a body kick. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Another big leg kick land. That shot blocked by Lee. Yeah. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, oh. Oh, straight right. Doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back to side, and try to find space. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Great punch landing with so much power. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Cerrone gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Cerrone's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Shot to the body is blocked. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Swing and a miss by Lee. 30 seconds left. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Cerrone's strike attempt there is blocked. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Listen, I need you to stay a little bit more active, a little bit more movement. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Look at the whip action that comes from just throwing that kick. 
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh, that's a nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. Able to check the high kick. Well, that body kick. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Right hand upstairs. He's got his back now under the neck. Oh, and now he flattens him out, DC. A couple hooks in. This could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal grounding pound. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity patch to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. 90 seconds to go now. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, the ground and pound is there. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Schedule for five five minute rounds. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Lee's got a pretty deep bruise now. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Nowhere. I mean, oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Wow, huge head kick. Tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and 
for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Let's get to Bruce Buffer. He has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 30 seconds of round number four. Going the winner by knockout, Tunnel, Kelpor Cerrone. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this.